let's have a taste of the sauce first. Oh my god, that is amazing. Okay, I will see you all in Singapore. Oh my god, I can't. YouTube. I've made it to the airport. Melbourne traffic was absolutely diabolical. The, uh, it, it took me just shy of two hours to, to get to Melbourne Telemarine Airport. And then when I got to the airport here at the long term car park, um, I normally park in section A where I can actually walk to the, um, where I can just walk to the terminals. And for some reason it is goddamn busy today that I actually have to park in section see so it's whilst it's not impossible to to walk it's going to take forever so i'm going to have to wait and grab a, one of the free shuttle buses so just going to grab my luggage out okay. hold on a sec I'm gonna say goodbye to driving for the next few days. Hello YouTube! Tim coming to you from the Qantas Club showers. Now, I am Hello, somewhat... Hello, Welcome to Navigate Sunshine, Southern, CZ 3442. Ladies and gentlemen, an iPhone has been located at the lounge. If you think you may be the owner, could you please contact staff at the reception desk? Thank you. Anyway, like I was saying, Tim coming to you live from the Qantas Club showers. Um, I'm a little strapped for time. It's currently 11.15. Um, my flight starts boarding at 11.30. So I'm gonna have to rush through this. I'm gonna have a quick shower to cool down. But um, I was initially hoping to have um, a bite to eat so I can actually um, have some breakfast, but I guess that's not gonna happen now. Um, the reason being, I was actually stuck in um, TRS for a good half hour. There's a massive group of... Um, morning, concerns, that's not me because I have my two iPhones there. Yeah, so I was hoping to have a bite of breakfast, but unfortunately that's not going to happen now. So I'm just going to finish off here um, and um, get packed up, have a shower and um, start boarding. Okay, I will see you all in Singapore. Oh my God, I can't wait. Okay, probably not getting the best view here, but um, I was able to change my seat from 1E, which is in the middle of a three seat in the Jetstar business, and I managed to change it to 1J. So I finally have the best view on the aircraft as far as I'm concerned. saying that I might actually partake in a couple of those over the next few nights. Mm. And what I also mentioned that you probably didn't hear because the microphone wasn't turned on is that I was very lucky. I mean 1J. Seat 1J. Very lucky because the seat next to me is empty. So there's 
the entire pattern, I'm probably the only person with the entire road to myself. That's all right, which is absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much. Arrivals card. Build this in. Good afternoon, everyone. First officer Michael Burke speaking. Okay, lunch has arrived. I don't know if you can see that, but what we have here for an appetizer, we have ribbons of cucumber and fresh lettuce leaves served with a um, turmeric crusted chicken pieces. For the main, I have um, Szechuan prawns. So that's prawns enriched with a, um, a sweet, spicy cashew sauce from over jasmine rice and um, some baby bok choy. Oh, I'm really looking forward to eating this. I'm absolutely starving. Didn't end up having lunch and um, breakfast, as you all well know. So I am looking forward to a bite to eat. My apologies, you probably can't get a good view of my meal because um, just the angle of everything just doesn't quite um, support having me in frame and the food. So ultimately, maybe make a comment. Would you rather see the food or would you rather watch me eat? The comments can decide. I'm not the prettiest person to be on TV, um, to be on screen. So um, I would not be just, um, I would not be embarrassed or if you to say that we'd rather watch um look at the food for 20 minutes okay i am now getting some butter spreading it over bread the bread is really warm crusty and soft the butter is a bit cold and hard this bread because as you all well know when I return home I'm going back on the keto diet so I'm going to enjoy all the gluten and all the bread that I can while, while I have a chance mm. so, I had a very pleasant experience going through Melbourne Airport today. The check-in, um, the Jetstar check-in um, staff was incredibly um, personable, friendly, engaged in conversation. In fact, we spent a bit of time talking about my luggage. Um, and I know that this flight is really packed. It's really busy, especially in the business class section. And um, I was originally in 1E which is um, the most inner middle seat, which unfortunately would mean that I would have been stuck between two people. It would have been very uncomfortable for almost eight hour flight. So, not only did this check-in time generously move me to um, 1J, which is a window seat, and I love the window. No need for a bod when you have that amazing view out that window. Anyway, he not only did he move me to a window seat, but he blocked out the seat next to me. I've got no one seated next to me. I feel very privileged and very thankful. Thank you, Judge Star Chakin. Jetstar 
entertainment up. Um, probably gonna watch some Modern Family. Some Supernatural. I haven't watched some Big Bang Theory. Um, and possibly um, Murder on the Orient Express. We'll see how I feel. This is the, the appetizer. Let's taste the sauce. Ooh, I love the, the very zesty vinaigrette. Oh, that's lovely. Mm, really refreshing. really good. Mm. Oh, I enjoy that. Mm. I don't know how bad the um the airplane background noises. Hopefully it's not too irritating. If not, I may have to um, tune it out. Mm. I love it. It's zesty, refreshing. I love the little kind of garnish of, of coconut. Chicken's lovely. I love turmeric. I have turmeric when I when I make steamed rice. I always add turmeric in it. I love it. When I have plain toast, I put a light powdering of, of um, turmeric and chili. It's delicious. Moving on to the Szechuan prawns now. Let's have a taste of the sauce first. Oh my god, that is amazing. It's rich, it's oily, it's full of flavor. I can taste the Szechuan peppercorns and massive, massive whole cashew nuts. If, if I was served this in a restaurant, I would be very, very happy. And the fact that I'm getting this dish on Jetstar, I am blown away. I'm so impressed and I'm so happy right now. My goodness. You know what, not having breakfast, has been worth it, seriously. Wow, you know what, I'm, I'm smothering, I'm actually moving all my rice onto that sauce because I, want, I don't want to lose a single drop of it. It is sublime. Now, I know this is very controversial, because I, Mark and I have flown business and first class on many, many airlines. Um, Malaysian, Singapore, Cathay, British Airways, Qantas. And I'm gonna say this, it's very controversial, and it's, pro it, you know, it's all very um, subjective as well. But I personally think this is, hands down, one of the tastiest dishes I've had 35,000 feet up in the air. Mm. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm actually blown away how good this is. Oh. Well, 
I love spice, as you all know. I eat a lot of spicy foods. This is not spicy by my standards, but just be aware if you're eating this and you're not a fan of spice, this may, this, you may be impacted by it. Oh my goodness, seriously. Love it. It is perfectly seasoned, doesn't need any salt, but I love pepper as well, so I'm thinking I might actually throw some pepper over it. It doesn't need it, because it is Szechuan peppercorns already. An excuse really to, to zhuzh it up. You say don't 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 crunch the ice, don't chew the ice. But I'm gonna do it anyway. lucky to be living in this amazing country. And flying out to visit another amazing country. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, seriously guys. If you have an opportunity to order this or to eat this, please, please do. It is so good. I didn't think that I'd have the opportunity to have a meal time with you. Only because the Jet Shot business product is in reality quite no, I, what I'd like is a premium economy. Um, um, so I didn't think I was actually going to have the room to, to be able to set my camera up and set up the, the lab take photos and all that but um I think I've been very fortunate that, that I was able to to get two seats to myself mm. so we have traveled 709 kilometers in 50 minutes another six hours 10 minutes and 5,300 kilometers to our destination, which is the wonderful island country, island state of Singapore. Mm. Oh, the prawns are amazing. They're so big and plump. So 
it's just a pity you guys can't actually see the view. It's beautiful out there. To the Aussies in this group who's watching me, aren't we lucky? To all others from around the world, come and visit us, you'll love it here. I will personally show you around Victoria. If this is the main and it's so good, I imagine the dessert, I, I ordered the cheesecake, I love cheesecake. The cheesecake is gonna be amazing then. Mm. Oh my goodness. Wow, what an incredible way to start my foodie week. finish it because I want to keep going. Mm. Wow. That was amazing. I would have that again and again and again. Love the Jetstar catering. Well done. Okay, dessert time. This is the cheesecake. Oh, look at that white chocolate. I'm looking forward to it. Well, surprisingly, I am quite full. Oh, let me pause that. Because I'm actually enjoying Speechless. How do I pause it? There we go. good stuff. Tester, give me a call. Mm. So I think your current tester and I, we have the same palette. Mm. Wow.
just to finish. greatly with the audio quality. So far, the lunch jester is spectacular. I'm looking up, I'm looking forward to afternoon tea. See you around. Say all you will, but you cannot complain about the catering on Jetstar. Got myself a nice brownie. A little battered fish and mushy peas, orange juice, and a black coffee. <laughs> so the time is presently 6.01 here. So I don't know if I recorded anything um, because this Panasonic Lumix. Um, camera just literally went to sleep so I don't know if it's because I didn't press the record button or whether I did um, and the battery's running low I don't know mm. but just to recap I have the fish and um, battered fried fish and mushy peas which was sublime seriously and like I was saying I would seriously eat that and enjoy it if I order that in a restaurant on the ground. Obviously very difficult to achieve the crispy batter. Um, 40, you know, 40,000 feet up in the, in the air. It'd be a 10 out of 10 if it was crispy. There was a bit of turmeric in it. Mm. And now I'm finishing off my raspberry, my raspberry brownie. Oh my goodness. Seriously, what an, an amazing start to my foodie long weekend. Mm. Oh. oh, fantastic. Thoroughly enjoyed that. that's all the meals we'll we have on this flight so the next time I see you we'll be in Singapore excellent eat well guys mm -hmm.